Hi, I'm Sajana, and I'm here to offer up a prayer for the week, and um, I don't know how you're feeling right now as a student. Um, you're going through your studies, and it's past midterms right now for the semester, and you're just continuing to chug along, looking towards the end of the semester, <laughs> looking towards the end and towards a break. Um, we're looking at um, the Thanksgiving break in a couple of weeks uh, for most people here. Um, and so there's projects probably um, starting to be due before the Thanksgiving break. Um, thinking about any papers or projects that you have to write in time for the end of the semester and thinking about holidays and seeing those that you love and care for making plans or not making plans um you know it's just a full season and so knowing all this and this prayer week um i'm just lifting up uh just both things these burdens that we have but also things that we can celebrate things that we are thankful for are there any praises in your life anything that you just want to acknowledge to God and be grateful for um one of the things that I've been holding in my heart and um praying for in the back of my mind and and at times asking others to pray for me especially when it gets overwhelming it just comes out and so um one of those things that I've been praying for um, last month because now it's November I was praying that my goal of being a board certified chaplain and submitting all of these essays and and um, on, on various competencies would be completed in time to submit this packet before the deadline which was uh, October the 31st which is two days ago and I just want to let you know that sometimes when we're praying about something, when we're burdened about something, sometimes the answer is not right now. Sometimes, and, and you don't get that as an answer. It's more like, for me, it was a sense of uh, just being super overwhelmed <laughs> um, and a realization that, you know, no one's telling me to do this. Um, I was praying that I could manage all the things. But when I looked at all the things that I was trying to manage, even though that was something that was really high on my personal goal list, it, when I looked at everything, it was actually less than you know, other priorities that I had going on as well, which was to stay on top of schoolwork, which was to be available and present for my, my family, my children, my teenagers, you know, um, which when raising teenagers, you, you're on their time in a way, <laughs> you know, what needs come up for them, be available when they need you to be available. I mean, that to me is just, um, the best way that I could do things right now. It's just I, I, I want to be available when you feel like you want to talk. So, and that could be any time. And so, I, in addition to that, I was, um, I am working part time at the hospital, and I'm sure that you're juggling uh, resp your own responsibilities as well, your own obligations as well, not just schoolwork. And so, when I looked at all these things, I thought, you know. The kind of person that I want to be is not the person that is uh, super overwhelmed and just has no margin, no space in my life for other things that may come up, uh, which we're bound to do, <laughs> which we're bound to come up. So I didn't really need to also keep pushing myself so much to meet this personal goal of mine of submitting all of these things before the deadline. So um, about two weeks um a little more than two weeks before the deadline I let it go it was like a little death to me because it was something that I was working towards 
I really wanted. And um, it felt hard to even make that choice to let it go. But I had been praying that I could figure this out, that I could manage all these things. And, and what came was let that go. And when I finally relented and let it go, I tell you, um, after I did that, I found myself feeling free, <laughs> you know, feeling like I had more time, um, actually cleaning up my space, my area, my office, which was, I should have took a picture before because it was, I had to step over things to get to my seat to sit down at my desk typing like this because there's stuff all over the place and that was really a picture of what my mind looked like and what I was carrying but I found myself after making that decision to let that go that goal go that die that little death of what I hoped for and that when I let that go I found myself starting to clean up like I didn't have to tell myself to do it it just you know it started to happen and so I realized that was just holding me bound, um, even though I thought it was what I wanted. And so anyway, the point in saying this is that sometimes as we're praying for things, we might not actually get what it is that we're, we think we're hoping for, you know, can we be open enough in our prayers that we say, Lord, your will be done. Your will be done in this area. Your will be done in my life. And and Lord, you ultimately know what's best. And uh, and because God, I believe that God knows every, all things from the beginning to the end of our life and everything in between, he knows how it's all going to work out. And so even as I hope for certain things to happen, I submit to um, that the Lord knows timing. His timing is always right and good and best. And um, I, I have a limited view, kind of like a horse. I can see, I can see, you know, I'm not looking in something like this, you know, but I, I can see, uh, but God can see all. I think in one analogy I read in a Bible study once, like he's on a high tower looking, looking at more than what I can see down here on the ground, right? Um, so with just an acknowledgement, in this week's prayer, just acknowledging, you know, all the things, all the resp responsibilities, burdens, and goals, you know, all the things that we're carrying, you know, that's, you know, weighing on us right here. We acknowledge these things. We also acknowledge um, that we can see God at work, that the, the, the praises that we have uh, when we take time to review our life and examine what's happening in our week, in our day, in this semester so far, what's happening? Can we see God at work? Can we acknowledge that God has been at work leading and guiding us, putting people in our path that we're able to connect with, collaborate with, um, receive help from, or that we are a help to someone else, an encouragement to someone else? Um, so that's the prayer. Uh, just to be able to take time to see um, with God's eyes what's been happening and where we are right now to put it in God's perspective and and that God would just continue to help us in these things you know bit by bit step by step so that's where I am right now just wanted to give an example of <laughs> how praying has worked out for me like one tangible example of this is how prayer worked out for me i didn't get an audible do this do that or go here go there but what i did get is was a sense of lack of peace until i finally let something go um what well, until i finally let a, a goal of mine something i held dear go when i let it go i experienced a sense of peace and freedom and I didn't think that I was going to get that. I mean, that wasn't the goal of letting it go. I just knew that I couldn't keep doing what I was doing. So may God lead us to that place where we're able to make the decisions that um, that would be best for this season of life that we're in. 
you know, we're juggling school and many things. Um, and we're not machines. We're not robots. Even though we may treat our bodies as such uh, with, you know, lack of sleep, lack of food, lack of exercise, lack of uh, stillness and time and quiet, you know, whatever it is that we need as as functioning whole human beings, uh, we deprive ourselves of these things many times because we're on a mission, on a roll, trying to get a lot of things done. And But um, may God help us to see um, a fuller picture and to give ourselves a bit of grace as we go through our lives with our various goals and dreams and hopes in this season. So I've said a lot of things. Uh, this is, I've said a lot of things. So I'll just be quiet now for about a minute. And in order to offer a time of um, silent reflection and a, a silent reflection. Let's see what God may put on your spirit and on your mind before taking a few moments to pray. So would you just um, be quiet before the Lord right now? Would you pray with me? Lord God, I thank you so much. Thank you so much for today. Thank you so much for our life. For waking us up in the morning. For getting us to where we need to go. Whether we're going to school through online means or or because we drive into campus or walk into onto campus, God. I thank you, God, for the opportunity to learn, for the opportunity to be educated in a certain area, in a certain field, Lord. Thank you for the means to be able to participate in, in additional schooling. Lord, I just acknowledge right now that um, I... I my, both in myself and in the peers that I see in school, God, I know that we carry a lot of other burdens. It's not just our studies. It's not just our assignments or if we're getting the material or not, if we're understanding and comprehending, if we're able to get the assignments in on time. Um, it's not just that. It's It's... Uh, it's thoughts about where is this going to go where is this leading um, what are we hoping to do in the future it's, it's thoughts about present you know with our peers with our friends with family members um, relationships with others relationships with people um, in church or in places of worship and relationships with people in in work spaces um lord we we navigate all these things as well also um we're we're entering into the holiday season soon and so we're thinking about you know where we're going to spend our time we're wondering if we're going to get invitations 
um, we're wondering if we're going to, if we have enough to invite someone over, if we have enough for ourselves, sometimes even God, there's so many things going on in our head and in our mind and in our heart. God, I pray, Lord, uh, that you will meet us there in these spaces, in all of these spaces, God, where we may feel lonely, God, give us your presence. May it be enough. Lord, where we lack understanding in our studies, even though we're, we're trying, God, we just it's just hard to get, hard to comprehend, God. May you bring may you may you bring understanding. May you bring a, a companion and friend to help us, um, to wrestle with us, to um, come alongside. May we learn together, God. Lord, I don't know who's listening to these prayer videos, God, but you do. Lord, you know their burdens. You know what it is that they carry. Even as they are students, God, you know all things. I trust, Lord, that something within this prayer today, right now, Lord, may they feel your spirit. May your spirit fill them and comfort them. May they know that they are not alone. May you reach them in some way, God, that they may know that they are seen by you. Whatever that may look like. God, I remember going into Goodwill many years ago and seeing a pair of tall black boots, tall black leather boots. The ones that I wanted from the store, but they cost too much money. I saw them at Goodwill and I immediately knew that was you. You were telling me in my own way, in the way, in the way that I could understand, you were telling me, I see you, Jonah. I know what you want. And it's not like God saying, here, I can only give you something used. That's not, I wasn't even thinking about it like that. When I, I saw that, I immediately knew God sees me. I pray, Lord, that that interaction would be there for anyone hearing this, this prayer video today. I pray, God, that they would know that you know them. You know them, even their wants. You know, and that you see them. And, that, and may they be reminded that you are there. And whatever it is that is needed, God, I pray. I pray. I ask, God, that you would meet their needs. I used to not want to pray about things like that, you know, because uh, I don't know your plan or your will. I don't know your plan or your will, but I do know that you said that we could come to you as children. We can come to you with all of our needs and requests and wants. You said that we can come to you as children, so we come to you today, knowing that we've got our plates more than full. We, it's full of obligations full of responsibilities full of things that we have in our minds to do and lord we ask for your help help us with this bit by bit god help us with this if it might mean um changing some things lord change us if it might mean letting some things go lord help us to let it go if it might mean buckling down and doing the work, Lord, help us to buckle down and do the work. Whatever is needed, Lord, we we acknowledge that we cannot do what you've called us to do this opportunity to be able to learn and be a student in this season. We can't do it well without you. And we want to do it well, not just because of us. We want to do it well because, well... God, we recognize that you're shaping us into your people. So if this is just a part of the journey, God, we acknowledge that. And so we want to do well in that. We want to do well as your children, as your people on this earth and in our spaces, God. May we be people who look to you. So, Lord, we ask for that. We ask for that today. And we thank you, Lord, because we trust that you hear us. You know us. Thank you, Lord.
Thank you for hearing us and knowing us. Thank you for seeing us and helping us to be the people that you've, you've created us to be, that you've called us to be. Thank you for calling us. And it's in your most holy and precious name we pray these things. May the church say amen. Amen.